Dr. Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today you get to go on a drive with me. I am having so much fun. I am completely on the other side of the world from where I live, but that's the fun part, I think. Hi, my name is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman. I'm an intuitive psychic medium here in the Sugarland area. That's just outside of Houston. I work with my angels and guides to assist my clients in many areas of their lives to bring them special messages from loved ones who have passed, to dialogue with their angels for guidance into their own situation, or to assist them with their own psychic abilities. If you like my content, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. So, I was talking to some great people that um, were uh, did some work for me and I picked up the product and I'm very, very, very happy, very excited. But we we're kind of chatting around after I picked up my item, and one of the things that kind of came across is that there was a dad, and his son works with him. And I, so I was like, wow, that's really cool. And he was like, yeah, but I wish my other kids were like him. I wish my other kids would take, you know, responsibility and um, do things like they're supposed to. And, you know, um, his wife went to pick up the kids earlier today um, from school, and the kids uh, didn't tell them that they were going to go home with friends or whatever else. So I was like, really, what our job is as parents is to really raise our kids to be adults. So many times nowadays, um, people are like, well, I didn't want to spank my kids. And I'm not saying you have to spank your kids. But what's really important is to show them how much you love them and how much it is important for them to be in, in communication with you. And he was like, I hadn't thought about it that way and I was like that's kind of the weird quirky part is that so many times we kind of lapse on that part and but it's one of those that's the scary part when your parent is like where are your kids your kids should have been off from school already or um, they should be around so mom could pick them up after school and you're kind of like did something happen to them did someone take off with them where are they at I don't know and that's the important part to really as a parent to communicate to our kids is um, it's important for us to know where you're at if you're thinking oh mom doesn't need to know that's when you need to pick up the phone and call mom or text mom and let mom know where you're at or it's like oh no no don't worry about it dad's dad will chill out over this no it's not parents don't chill out we worry about our kids constantly always no matter how old they are we constantly worry about our kids and worry about how they're doing and where are they at and and what else is going on with them and I think that's the part that kids kind of like eh, it's not a big deal I know I was like that when I was a kid like oh it's not a big deal they're not that worried about me it's not a blah 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 bother or anything else I realize now as a parent how important that is but it's also important as a parent to realize your job your number one job is to raise your kids to be adults to live in society and change things every time you can anytime you can change things don't don't put up with the status quo if you can fight a bill or if you can fight on something or you can get your voice heard definitely do that definitely definitely but it's, understand that it's also your job to uh, live within the rules. How do we have? How do we have to work through this? How do we have to fight through this? Or what can we do to make this easier on us? How can we change the laws to make it more equitable for everybody? Those are great things to really fight for. And it's not just one person's fight. It's everybody's fight. Because when we make it equitable for everybody, it works. It works. It works. It works. And so that's kind of the important part is to raise your kids to be to to know when to fight, where to fight, how to fight, and what is it. So even at a young age, are you in, encouraging them to write a letter to the governor, or are you um, encouraging them to write write a letter to their senator or congressman or president? Like I don't like what you did, or I do like what you did. Um, letting them know they have a voice in all of this, and it shouldn't be just unheard. It should be heard and thought about and honored for what it is. That's the important part. Important. I thank you so much for joining me today, and I know that we'll be talking again soon.